water is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Water's in you and me, and you and me, and you and me. Water is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Water's in you and me. And welcome to Water Education TV. I'm your host Kyla and today we're going to be talking about watersheds. A great resource to teach about watersheds in your classroom or wherever you teach is Watershed Protection Kids Activity Booklet. You can get your own copy on store.projectwet.org. So a watershed is an area of land that drains into a specific body of water like a river, stream, or a lake. It includes everything within its borders, all the land, air, plants and animals, mountains, deserts, cities and farms, even people and their stories and traditions. But at Project Wet, we don't necessarily like to just tell people about water. We like to show people with fun, interactive, action-oriented education. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate one of our activities from the Watershed Protection Activity Booklet that shows what a watershed really is. Your materials are going to be some wax paper, some water with food coloring, and if you'd like a little block or something to prop up the wax paper when we get to that part. And you may or may not want something to protect your surface from the food coloring if it gets on there. So when you're talking to your class, you might start with just asking what happens when water falls on a flat area. You can squirt a little bit of the water on there. And as everyone can see, it just kind of stays there. And that would be what happens when there's a lake or somewhere where the water just stays when it's flat. But then you can go and ask what happens when you have a hill. If you squirt the water at the top of the hill, you'll see that the water runs down either side. And that starts to show that the water will run from uphill to downhill. It'll run from high elevation to low elevation. And each of these would be a watershed. Eventually, all of the water on each side of this block, or if it were really a mountain, would end up in the same areas, one on this side and one on that side. But then you can ask what happens when you have some ups and downs in the same area. So if you crumple up that wax paper, we've got some separate hills and valleys, different areas for water to fall. Then if you start squirting water around, you'll see that the water runs down into some of the valleys here. So that's a really good way to show that watersheds can be made up of lots of smaller watersheds. We've got some valleys that flow down into here and then they flow into larger watersheds. So that's just one of the fun activities that we have in Watershed Protection Kids Activity Booklet. Remember to go to store.projectwet.org today and order your own. Water is everywhere.